Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Manuel Graphics or Go Away uh, tutorial. Um, today in the tutorial we'll be making a low poly DS, Ninten Nintendo DS inspired game console thing. Yeah, it looks really cool. Um, anyway, so yep, yeah, let's get working on it. So the font I used here, just so you know, is called Code. This one's Code Bold, um, looks really cool. And uh, yeah, we'll just be going over how to make this. So here are the actual images, uh, image model is, and what we can do, we're going to go file. Let me just save this as DS tutorial. And uh, the first thing we want to do is. Okay, yeah, back family just got home and uh, distracted by taking shopping up. Anyway, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go File New now and uh, delete this lamp. And the first thing we're going to do is position the camera 90, 0, 0, and pull it out like this. Add a plane. 90 scale out and pull it back. We should all be reasonably confident in doing basic rotations, stuff like that. Um, and we're going to work with this cube here. So let's make a rectangle shape. Something like yeah. scale it down, something like that. Now we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier. We're going to subdivide in edit mode until we get a shape like that. And that's like the perfect shape that we wanted. Um, and yeah, it's got low poly looking edges. Looks really nice. I yeah, like don't even know how I did it. Anyway. Um, we're then going to apply this modifier and we're going to make the screen. So go into top view and select our face select and we're going to select a portion perhaps like that. No, that's too big. Perhaps that, yep, yeah, that's that looks good. And hit E to extrude and pull down. That's the bottom screen for our DS inspired console. And we're just going to shift D and we're going to go into our side view and there we go. So we've basically made a very simple game console here. Um, now, what we're going to do is move on to our buttons. So to do the buttons, we want to add a cube. And make it quite rectangular. Pull it up. On it around that, that. And move it across shift D R Z 90 that's looking good so we've now got a little cross let's scale that down actually yeah that's pretty good and we want to join these two shapes together so we've got this one cross there and we still haven't finished with our cross, but we'll come back to it in a sec after we've done our like A, B, C, A, B, X, Y buttons over here, which are just cylinders with 16 vertices, and they're just scaled down. Ok, 
Okay, that's Shift D, move it. So they're around the same position, and we're going to Shift D. Oh, no, scale these two down a bit. RZ 90 and we'll just bring this down slightly this up slightly and that's looking reasonably good and select all these and we literally just want to bring it down especially these um, cylinders here they're looking quite out of place something like that Yes, that looks good. Now we're going to take one of these, we're going to Shift D to duplicate it and move it down around here. And now we're going to push it on the X axis to make a sort of oblong shape. Duplicate it, and that's our start and select button. Now again, we're going to duplicate one of these. G to move it over here. And it's a perfect fit to the center. We'll just make it a bit smaller. and we just want to poke it into our shape like that. We're going to add a boolean difference and what cylinder is this? Cylinder 6. And apply. Now delete that and it's got a little hole in. So far so good. Now the last thing we've got to do for this, oh no, two more things, two more things we've got to do, three actually, is one of them is we, in the old handheld devices, they used to have a Game Boy, old Nintendo devices, they used to have a Game Boy um, slot just at the bottom here. We're just going to make that extruding like so. And also, they had these really weird speaker things that went you can either do them here which I might do this time or before I did them down here depending on the different systems subdivide it tw twice and select some points now I'm just going to do points like so nothing too major And hit E to extrude and pull them in. And that's our speaker systems. Now that's one, two, and the third one, what was it? Ah yes, the text. So add a text, move it across, and I'm just gonna change the font to code bold. Code bold. And I'll leave a link in the description for that. Yeah. X and we're going to add a bit of extrude to that in a second after we just scale it down looks awesome and we're going to do the same for the other ones this one I'm pretty sure is B this one's Y and this one's A, oh, A. And we're going to shift and duplicate that, sorry, and right, select, 
scale it down, remove it, and start for this one. <laughs> Pull these two down. And the materials are up to you. You guys will be able to figure that out yourself. Um, other than that, I think this is the tutorial done. If you wanted to know for the lighting, I downloaded a... Oh, remember Cycles Render, of course. I downloaded an environment texture off the internet. And I'll leave a link in the description for that. And there's loads of tutorials on those. Um, actually, I won't leave a link in the description because I didn't use it in the tutorial, but there's loads of um, environment textures out there. Just have a look. And color correction done in Photoshop, as usual. Um, other than that, I'm very happy. You can also add a bit of a logo on the back here if you're making it closed. Yeah, other than that, thanks very much for watching, and I shall catch you in my next video.